What's up, guys? It's the Ninja Nerd here. Today, I'm here to talk about this new Red Dead Redemption 2 official gameplay video. It just came out today. So, without further ado, let's get into this. <laughs> They'll probably hang you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> You coming, buddy? In the late 1800s, America was evolving, on its way to becoming the most powerful country in the world. New immigrants arrived, thriving outposts became towns, and civilization was spreading rapidly into the huge, wild, and lawless frontier. With Red Dead Redemption 2, Rockstar Games aims to create a living world that's not simply open, but deeper. Come on, pretty boy. More interactive and detailed than ever. Pretty boy. Combining action, storytelling, we need to get those people warm and fed. And gameplay in new ways. As you live, ride, and fight to survive as an outlaw in a notorious gang. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. Red Dead Redemption 2 in Introduction Part 1. The game is an attempt to capture this pivotal moment when the age of outlaws was ending and the modern world was born. There is a huge world to explore, set across a range of America's heartland and frontier. Beautiful. From harsh mountain trails and dense forests to untamed swamplands and sweeping deserts, rugged livestock towns to modernizing cities and much more all populated with a diverse cast of characters from turn-of-the-century life. Now shoo, please. I'm waiting for someone interesting to turn up. You play as Arthur Morgan, a trusted senior gun in the Vanderling Gang, a band of outlaws and outcasts on the run from the pressures of civilized life. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. Each time they are forced to flee an area, the gang sets up a camp as a base. This is where gang members eat, sleep, perform chores, play games, and share stories. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriffs stealing a chicken, I think it was, and he decided I was going to be hanged for it. These are the people Arthur calls family, and you will get to know each gang member. So I'm guessing this is an area where you have to flee an area. You can set up camp and, I guess, uh, kind of just work on improving your base or whatever. So I'm guessing that that's what this is. I'm not sure. Remember, over the course of the game. So, you save the silly bastard's life and you and him go robbing sheep. Helping the camp with food and supplies will keep morale high, while spending time with other gang members can reveal new secrets. Fun things to do and opportunities for mischief. How about you and me go and redistribute some property? In and out of camp, the world is alive and responds to the player. Well, ain't this a rare treat? And your guns. This is just like a big. Seems like very familiar to Fallout, where the world is very much alive. You go somewhere and some, some just something is just happening. I'm guessing that's what it looks like. These aren't the only way to interact with the environment. Call out to a passing rider. That's a nice horse. Talk yourself into trouble with a local tough guy. Clear out. Or out of trouble with a town sheriff. Or intimidate a witness into silence. And more. Keep your mouth shut. You're dead, friend. You don't want to involve yourself with this. Confrontations can be escalated or diffused. Take it easy. Do what you want. I don't care. You can form friendships. Oh, God. You did it. Or make enemies as you choose. You killed my cousin, you sick son of a bitch! Your actions have consequences, and it's up to you to decide <laughs> just how honorable <laughs> Arthur is. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? <laughs> Shooting and fighting have both been radically improved to make combat deep and engaging at all times. Each weapon has unique characteristics with realistic reload and recoil that always keeps the player grounded and connected to the action in a gunfight. The gunfight does look cool though. Hey, the gunfight does, it does look pretty cool. Uh, 
you, you switch it from weapon to weapon, no, it's cool. In a similar way, the bond with your horse is crucial and changes based on your treatment of the animal. Hold still, girl. Some breeds are better suited for certain tasks. I got a fella been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. Your saddle and saddlebags can store extra weapons, along with supplies and animal carcasses that you pick okay. up while out roaming or hunting. Over time, the bond between you and your horse will grow, making them easier to control in tense situations. Yeah, he's a great horse, aside from when the devil got him. A rich and varied ecosystem thrives in the world, full of predators, prey, and scavengers. All smart and sometimes deadly. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Hunting helps the camp or earns you money. Wound an animal and you'll have to track them down. Animal pelts and other items you find can be traded for cash to use at general stores, gunsmiths, saloons, and elsewhere. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. This is a world that is rich in depth and detail. All designed to be explored on horseback or on foot. As you live the fateful journey of a gang of outlaws on the run across America. In the next gameplay video, we'll look at missions, activities, enemy gangs, robberies, other things to do, and much more, including the evolution of sharpshooting using the Deadeye system. Okay. As I say, as, as someone who was n wasn't all that into the first Red Dead, I wasn't really all that into interested in this one. Now that I've seen this gameplay trailer, I am a bit more interested now. Still, now you you can uh, help help your get help your gang and uh, go hunting hunting. And the combat, the, shoot, the gunplay looks pretty good. Uh, I can't really find nothing really negative about it. I am more interested now than I was before. That's the thing, you got so many games coming out this year. It's just, man, you got so many games, other games coming out this year. So we going are we going That's that's another thing. But let me know what you guys think about this. Are you guys excited for Red Dead Redemption 2? Let me know in the comment section below. And it was they said, okay, hey, grow a stronger bond with your horse. You can. Uh, you get, every time you have to flee an area, you can build a camp, and you can interact with people in your camp. The world is always alive. You can your choices are, apparently have consequences. So I'm curious how how I guess how much of a consequence are they gonna have for your choices? That's another thing. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace, deuces. Spider -Man.